Well, good evening, everyone, and um, it's great to see a full Eastern Auditorium. Um, we are also the oldest um, dental faculty in Australia, certainly a lot smaller. I don't like to call us a small faculty, I like to call us a boutique faculty. And hopefully you'll see why in the next couple of slides. Now, of course, you're going to hear from um, other more important people, and who I'm talking about are the students. They're the ones that are going to tell you what it's really like. And I think that um, what Bruce and I say is um, certainly um, we'll try to encourage you to pick Sydney, but I'm sure you'll be convinced to pick Sydney once you've heard from uh, our current cohort of students. So dentistry, dentistry is slightly uh, different to medicine because at graduation, uh, you are competent to practice independently, as a safe beginner, of course, because for your whole life, we're trying to develop, or we do develop you as lifelong learners both in um, the area of clinical practice, but also in intellectual discovery. And I think that that's really, really important. Um, Bruce has alluded to that, that research is something that we're all very proud about. And uh, in dentistry, we too. What you see on the screen here is one of our students uh, providing direct uh, clinical care. And so this happens very early in the curriculum, in the four-year curriculum. Essentially, you start seeing patients uh, from about the middle of first year. Perhaps not doing some of the more invasive procedures, but you will be actually learning how to um, manage patients uh, early on. Now, we don't let you loose immediately, of course, on patients. We have some large simulation learning environments. And so what you see is one here. Um, very busy slide, of course, uh, but um, the, these clinics are state-of-the-art. We've just purchased a couple of what we're calling virtual simulators, and we'll be putting those in a site as well. And they provide you the opportunity to develop those fine motor skills that we need, because dentistry is largely a surgical profession. So uh, you'll certainly get uh, uh, lots and lots of opportunities um, to uh, utilise uh, these clinics and actually learn those um, types of uh, uh, um, those types of experiences. Now, it's important also to realise that dentistry is not just um, developing those surgical skills. It is also becoming someone who is an expert in public health, someone who is an expert in being able to communicate and change behaviour. And so we put we pride ourselves in actually. Uh, having um, staff, not just from dentistry, but also from psychology, who actually work with us to develop those, uh, those skills. We have a lot of um, uh, clinics, not only in the Sydney region, but also in the rural uh, areas. And so we have students that will uh, all go out for a rural placement for at least four weeks, uh, as far afield as Ballina, um, out to the greater western area of New South Wales, uh, down south to uh, south of, of Wollongong as well. And these experiences, I've got to tell you, are the ones that when the students come back, comment as being the experiences that really change their focus. One story that uh, sit, sits in my mind is um, a um, Australian Chinese uh, student that we had who had never left Sydney for her whole life. She spent a uh, four week elective out at Dubbo and on graduation, because of that experience, she basically joined up with uh, the New South Wales public health dental system and uh, immediately asked for a rural placement. And in fact, she's uh, now working in some uh, Aboriginal communities. And so. I think this diversity within our education program allows uh, those uh, opportunities. And then finally, research. We, uh, three years ago, took a, a quite a sharp right turn in our research strategy, and we decided to focus on two key thematic areas, chronic diseases. So you might not know, but uh, dental caries or dental decay is the most common chronic uh, 
uh, adult disease. And we also um, focused on healthy ageing, because what we're seeing in dentistry is um, an ageing population who are retaining their teeth, but actually with quite a lot of dental disease and orofacial disease. And we don't know how to manage that. And so it's important that if you're considering dentistry here at Sydney, we want you to consider uh, research as a key area in the course. We want you to consider that you need to use research to actually change behaviour in how we do things. So on that note, I'll just say congratulations on making the first step on coming here to the information uh, evening. Uh, thanks for listening uh, to me and um, I wish you all well in uh, the future. Thank you.